ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Indie Direct, where we look at nothing but indie titles and give them that sweet, sweet loving that they deserve. I got a fun one for you. But before we do that, I know you like what we're doing here, so why not leave a like, subscribe, and if there's a game you want us to play, leave a comment down below. Now let's jump into it. Discolored released November 11th and goes for $8. A lonely roadside diner in the middle of the desert. The locals say it's lost all its color, and you're sent to investigate. Discolored is a strange and surreal puzzle adventure, taking place over two or so hours in a single desolate location. Your mission, restore the color to this once vibrant world. What caused the colors to disappear? How can they be brought back? As you explore, you'll solve an array of tentative puzzles, uncover a section of clues, leading you to discover the deeper secrets of this strange place at the end of an abandoned highway. So to be honest, I'm kind of mad at this game a little bit, only because there's not more to play. I, I would love to see this game have a sequel or DLCs, I don't care. This was a phenomenal game. The way that the puzzles were set out, they weren't simple puzzles, they, they were quite difficult. But the way that you would use gems and insert the color back into the world had a very fresh sense to it. I know people have done it before, but this one somehow did it different, but I couldn't really put my finger on it. The soundtrack that's in this game is also surprisingly well-tuned for the type of game and the location that it's set in. I remember just being in the diner and just sitting there and just listening to the music, and I was like, gosh, it's, it was so good, really. On top of the audio, even the assets that were in the game were, I wouldn't say rudimentary, but they were smooth. They were very nice. They, they weren't jaggered or anything like that. Definitely time was put into either modeling or having somebody model these things, and it was fantastic. But I really can't say too much about it just because if I try to say anything about certain puzzles or anything else of the sorts, then I, I may give too much away. And this is a game that I would really recommend everybody to pick up if you like puzzle games. Um, even if you don't, if you like an artistic style. This game definitely takes a very big artistry, I'm guessing, style is what you would say. So, all in all, I'm going to leave a little bit more gameplay in here so you guys can take a look and figure it out for yourself. But for me, I would highly recommend this game. It is a wonderful game that takes, again, about two hours. If Maybe you'll struggle a little bit like me, and it may be four and a half, but it is something if you are a puzzle fanatic like uh, Myst or anything of the sorts, definitely pick this game up, especially for only $8. It's a great experience, and I feel like there may be more to this that may be either released as a new game or is going to be released with DLCs. I don't know. They showed a map at the end that seemed like there could be more. But anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.